This is gonna be kind of a shorter video, but something just occurred to me, a way I could communicate something with the broader public with you guys in a way that might be a little bit more effective. So there's been a lot of talk lately about whether or not Microsoft is going to stick with the dual screen thing with the next Surface Duo, right? There are lots of talks going on. Is Surface Duo 3 going to be a single folding OLED screen a la Z Fold instead of two discrete displays as we currently have on the uh, Duo 1 and Duo 2? And a lot of people, you know, and myself included in this for a long time would have said, no, that I hope that they don't do that because two screens are different. Your brain uses them differently when you have two discrete uh, individual spaces to work in. I've talked about this a million times and I'll, I'll kind of go over it one more time here. When you're on Duo, you can launch an app and then you can simply launch another app and it works just that well. I mean, it's, it's, it's like having two distinct phones together, right? So multitasking is just intuitive, it's simple, it's easy, and it just makes complete and total sense. On something like this that is a folding OLED, you can do the same thing, right? You can open up an app and then you can use one of many different options to open up a second application as I am currently doing here. But you can see how much slower that is, right? I could even pull an app from uh, from down here. Let's grab YouTube and drag it up. And that's a little bit quicker, right? So there's, there's different ways you can do this. But at the end of the day, it is always going to be quicker and more intuitive when you have two individualized workspaces to be using. Now, all that being said, there's been a little wrinkle added to this as of late. The idea that Microsoft could take the software directly on Duo Now and put it on a folding OLED screen and how that might work. And to understand this, you have to understand one really important thing. And I can demonstrate this really, really easily. Surface Duo and Duo 2, Android does not see two screens. You want to know how I know this? Watch what I can do here. Let's take Twitter and let's span it. And now let's take a screenshot. Or let's stay on our desktop and let's take a screenshot. Now let's look at what we got in our screenshots. Look at that. That's not two screens. That is one continuous screen. Twitter, one continuous screen. So what's happening here is not Android seeing two distinct displays like you have on uh, Windows. I'm gesturing towards two monitors in front of me as if you can see them. It's different. Android does not have dual monitor support like that. So what Microsoft has done is they have created sort of a workaround to create that type of uh, workspace without actually having true dual monitor capabilities. So their launcher literally draws a software line down the middle, a gutter, if you will. And when an app is launched over here on this side, it automatically defaults to this side. It takes advantage of Android's split windowing technology, but it does it automatically. I don't want to see somebody eating. Let's scroll down. If you launch an app over here, it does the same thing. But again, it only sees a tablet. This is done in software. So could you take that software and put it on a device like this, maybe one whose aspect ratio was more this way and folded this way, right? So shorter and fatter, something more like the Oppo Find In. How would that work? Well, like I said, I have a way that I can kind of demonstrate this to you, and it's going to be a little bit unconventional perhaps, but I think it'll be effective to at least demonstrate this to you. This is a laptop dock, a lap dock from Uperfect, okay? And you probably have already seen my unboxing first impressions video of it. And I kind of very lightly alluded to this in that video. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into the Surface Duo 2 and it's going to then display out, but it's a touch screen. And I can still interact with my Duo 2 with that touch screen. And then you're going to see in real time how one big display can have this exact software and act as though it is two displays. And you can imagine from there how that would work on a folding device.
Okay, so we have our Surface Duo 2, we're plugged in and we are just mirroring the screen. So let me show you exactly what I mean here. Let's swipe up to go home and let's swipe up to go home again. The touch screen on this thing is not fantastic, so just bear with me on that. So here we go. Imagine that this is our foldable device. We've opened it up and now we are looking at our large display. It looks like one continuous display. However, and again, you can see there's no hinge there. It's just it's just a tablet. That's all this is. It's a tablet. But there's software that makes it so that you can imagine an invisible line. That's all this is. So if we launch Twitter, it's going to launch it on one half of the screen. And if we launch the Play Store, it's going to launch it on one half of the screen. So it's going to behave exactly the same as if it were two displays. I can move it from one screen to the other, from one partition, one space to the other. I can open up something like YouTube and then I can drag it into the middle and span it. And now we don't have the hinge down the middle getting in the way and making this look uh, terrible, making this a much, much worse viewing experience. I can launch the camera and I can still have that same, you know, photographic experience here where I can take a picture and then see it popped up on the other screen there exactly the same as it was before. Any experience you can have on Duo, you can have here, right? I can launch Twitter and let's find a link to click. Let's click on the link in my own profile and guess what? It's going to open up the browser in that open space to the side in that other free workspace. So I hope that this demonstrates to you guys in a real like physical way how potentially this could still work relatively well. You know, again, is it possible that our neurochemistry, our brains will see two discrete displays and it will trigger a different way of feeling, a different way of thinking? Yeah, that's entirely possible. It's also possible that I've been wrong about, you know, dual screen being absolutely necessary and that in fact you can have one screen like I'm showing you here and you can approximate the dual screen experience sufficiently that you kind of get to the same place, but then you, you know, you then have spanning be way better. The way I'm looking at it would be like this. On the Z Fold, spanning, so to speak, is the default behavior, one big app. And then the secondary behavior is two apps. On this device, two apps is the default behavior, and then spanning can be the secondary behavior. So that's really all we're talking about. We're saying we're going to make a device that prioritizes the, the dual app uh, layout, and then you can span and have the same exact experience. Everything's exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. We're just flipping the priority, flipping what it does by default. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.